what's up guys? You know I'm kind of a, a lawn nut, and last year I treated myself to a new lawnmower. This is the Bobcat 52 CRZ. I really do like cutting the lawn, and this is making it a pleasure. And so I'm going to uh, do a little maintenance. I've already cha I changed the oil last week and the oil filter, and this week I'm going to grease it, and I'm using WD-40 all-purpose grease. Now, a lot of you guys probably don't know that WD-40 makes grease. This project or this video is sponsored by WD-40 and they make a ton of other pro other products. So when you go to the automotive store or wherever you buy things like this, look for it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to load a grease gun. If you've never done this before, it's really simple. You're first going to pull the plunger out. And this one's got a little uh, knob here and it just sort of, uh, the plunger stays out. So if I hit the, hit the knob, you can see it goes back in. Some of them have like a little lip here that they get stuck on. But anyway, I'll pull that out, open the top of the grease gun up. Here's my grease. I'm going to take the top of the grease off. Usually I wear gloves with this and I'm going to put gloves on. I just don't like to get a lot of grease on my hands. There's the grease and I'm going to put that right into the grease gun. All the way down and now I'll pull the top. and then put the top of the grease gun back. Just be careful you don't cross thread. So take your time, you don't wanna ruin the threads of the grease gun. Now I'm going to hit the button. I think I have to hold it and push it. There we go. Okay, then I'll give it a couple of pumps and you'll see the grease come out. There's the grease. Here's the little pin, and I'm going to, I forget what that's called, but anyway, I'm gonna connect the grease gun to here, and you just push it in, and you'll feel the grease gun uh, connect. And there it is. Yeah. You can feel it's connected. Now I'm going to pump the grease, and you'll see grease come out the top. Once you see grease come out the top, then we're good. And there's the old grease, and that's greased. All right. There's one over here right next to the blade adjustment. Push the grease gun onto the nipple, give it a few pumps, and I can already see the grease coming out. Here's another one. You can feel that it's locked on. It's gonna be hard to see the grease come out. Yeah. Can you see it over here? I'll give it one more pump. Yeah. Right here it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that side of the lawnmower. There's only six fittings. Most of the bearings are sealed on this lawnmower. And so basically you're just doing the same thing on this side. A couple of pumps. There's the grease. And that's it. And this is the last one. There it is. That didn't take too long. One other thing I wanted to talk about is I changed the oil on this and it's really easy to empty the oil. You've got this little deal right here and this just comes out and you can get that right into your oil pan. But when you take the oil filter off, first of all, this is what I like to use, like a regular oil filter wrench. It's just hard getting in there. So you use this with a socket wrench. And then the issue is is the oil just goes into here and it kind of spills back in the engine. So this is a piece of plastic from a, an apple juice bottle. And I find if you just squeeze this back here, kind of work it into this position, then it creates a funnel and you can put your pan underneath and it'll fall through the hole in the engine mount and it just saves, saves you from making a big mess. Well, that pretty much takes care of the maintenance that I do to the mower. I do uh, sharpen the blades, change the air filter, grease it, oil it, but I don't, I send it into the shop once a year. I want to thank WD-40 for sponsoring this video and definitely check them out. They've got a lot of new products. My brother, Jim, he's like a serious mechanic. I'm more of a woodworker, 
but I turned Jim on to this stuff a couple of weeks ago now, or maybe a couple of months ago, and he's really, really liking it. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later.